We're from the International Tennis Integrity Agency, or ITIA, and we work on behalf of the governing bodies of worldwide tennis to keep the sport fair and protect it from corruption and doping. We are responsible for the sport's two key integrity programmes, the Tennis Anti-Doping Programme and the Tennis Anti-Corruption Programme. Integrity in tennis is about doing the right thing, knowing the rules and making the right decisions. Some of the things that we talk about today may become decisions you make every week or even every day on the tour as a professional player. Others may never happen to you in your career, but it's really important that you're prepared to make the right decision every time. The rules apply to everyone in tennis and events sanctioned by the ITF, ATP, WTA and the Grand Slam tournaments. Doping means athletes taking prohibited substances to improve their performance. Tennis, like all sports, does not tolerate doping and there are strict rules and procedures in place to protect the health of players and the integrity of the sport. There is a list of prohibited substances that you are not allowed to take because they are considered performance enhancing, hazardous to health or against the spirit of the sport. The list is updated every year by the World Anti-Doping Agency and you don't have to remember this whole list but it's really important that you know how to check the substances that you are taking or being given don't have any of these substances in them. We undertake testing to ensure that no tennis players are taking banned substances, but it's also a really important opportunity for you to prove that all of your achievements in the game are down to your own hard work and determination and have nothing to do with doping. If you are selected for testing, don't worry. It doesn't mean you're in trouble or that we think you're taking prohibited substances. Testing can be done for a number of reasons. And it's there to ensure that the person on the other side of the net is just as clean as you are. You can be tested at any time or in any place, in or out of competition, but it's perhaps most likely to happen at a tournament. If you're notified for testing, you must complete the process and provide a sample. You may be asked to provide a urine sample, a blood sample or sometimes both. Testing is not always easy, it can be slightly intrusive and a little embarrassing as there will be somebody in there with you to observe the test. As a junior, you have the right to have an adult, such as a parent or coach, to be with you and you can also ask for an interpreter. But you'll be with experienced doping control staff who will guide you through the test. Testing will just become part of your job as a professional player. And whilst it might not be pleasant, it is necessary and proof of your commitment to a clean and fair sport. In everyday life, we often take medications to treat illnesses or injury. Many of these medications may contain prohibited substances and this may also vary depending on where they were made or purchased. It's really important that you check that you're not taking anything that contains substances which may be on the prohibited list and that you check with your doctor before taking anything. As a player, you have the right to apply for a therapeutic use exemption if you have a valid medical condition. This will allow you to take a prohibited substance which will return you to a normal state of health. Supplements are one of the most common causes for anti-doping rule violations. And one of the reasons for this is because they're not regulated in the same way as medications. And you can't always trust the ingredients on the back of the pack. It is your responsibility to be aware of the risks of supplements. Do your research and speak to experts such as nutritionists to make sure you get the best possible advice. You must report any knowledge or suspicions of doping to the ITIA. You can do this through the website or the app. The anti-doping rules in tennis are strict. Even if you accidentally break the rules, you'll still be expected to serve a ban. And if you deliberately break the rules, you can expect a long ban, loss of prize money, and can cause reputational damage amongst your family, friends, and other players. <laughs>